Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Hermano and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video guys. So, uh, first things first, I just want to give a huge thank you to the people that have been viewing my videos. I mean, just look at this screen right here. As you can tell, we're up 134% in views, 47% in average view duration, and 325% in watch time hours. It's just amazing. The last time I had this much um, exposure was when you know I was actually at my peak back in those days before I announced my retirement, which I wish I would have never done because honestly, if there's one thing I regret the most in my life so far is actually disregarding you guys, you know, all my old fans that still watch me, and basically those that just supported me for so long that it is. There's not enough thank yous in the world to say, you know, how much I appreciate you guys. So the fact that we're back to this exposure just kind of motivates me a lot to continue making these series. Like I said, I'm always thinking of brand new series for you guys to watch because I know that the game was a little slow. You know, the ones that are just basically bringing all these updates to this game at this point is Clayton. Not not, not to say that Admin isn't doing, putting a work in that Frontier 2. You know, it's just good to see that he finally put a trust in someone that, you know, actually cares for the game, listens to the community, and overall just does what he has to do just to keep the game alive. Because trust me, this game is overdue for some great updates and and like I said, being with the game for so long, I always wish that there was a point in time where this game could just go beyond what it is right now and just bring more exposure. So as I said, I really do appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me. It's amazing. Let's keep it up. And like I said, be safe out there. Do not go out. Just stay here. I promise to make some awesome content for you guys. Because I know nowadays everybody is just home, bored, probably watching some anime and all that stuff. But, you know, they want to kind of see some guides on Death Frontier or just some brand new uh, ideas. And don't get me wrong, I've also been seeing comments like, hey, Armando, I want to see something, you know, that could tell me how to play this game. Or in Spanish, oye, hermano, puede hacer un video como hacer más dinero o como ser mejor en este juego. So, like I said, I'll probably be making a video like that. I have an account that doesn't have any drugs any gold member or anything overpowered so i probably might just do something at, on that i mean the series is called hardcore Death frontier i know many of you guys might be watching it but like i said i'm gonna keep working on that and to make the series a bit more interesting for the southeast end zone one i might just put away my wraith cannon and my, my infinite Dark, dusk enforcer because people want to see how it is without those things granted i can't turn off my boosts because you know that's permanent <laughs> so yeah there's not much to do in that all right and since you guys had enough of me uh, rambling on let's just talk about the video at hand all right guys so this video is relatively old it came out last year by clayton and so clayton is known to be experimenting with the different tier coding here and there and like i said this guy is just amazing sometimes he'd be pulling out stuff and showing it to people that we're just craving for and different tier first person view uh, when he kind of showed this to the community it just made me feel like this is what different tier is missing look at that go into first person view and it just automatically gives you that eerie feeling of damn this is this is making me feel uneasy <laughs> granted the graphics are very 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 outdated and if he were to do that nowadays it would have to you know really improve on obviously again the graphics you know these graphics look like they came out for a ps1 game <laughs> uh windows 97 games so it just wouldn't really put a lot of people on it especially when you have a game like Death frontier 2 that just came out but just seeing Death frontier 3d like this just kind of makes me wish that you know maybe this could have been back in the day you know what if Ami would have made this Death Frontier 3d first person instead of eagle eye vision view you know i feel like it would have been such a game changer and uh, you know it would just make me want to stay more because it, just look at this guys it just makes this feel like an actual zombie apocalypse and i feel like with this it could have been that you know it could have been you know even if you had an unlimited minigun it would have made the game a little more challenging because you wouldn't be able to see what's behind you so zombies could you know deliver surprise attacks here and there but that's where this will kind of come short because again that frontier 3d was made for just that grinding taking on bosses and being able to see the whole area around you so first person really wouldn't work as is right now if this were to ever happen in the future admin and clayton you know when if they come to an agreement we we'll have to basically recall the whole game all over again they'll have to put you know obstacles in certain areas where it can make the game a little difficult but not too difficult because just imagine a devil hound or a flaming black titan in front of you you're running away from it and all of a sudden you don't know why you get stuck and you just get one shotted and then all of a sudden you're you're pissed off saying Hey, Admin, you, sh you have to fix the, the, the obstacles. I couldn't see anything, and now I'm stuck. I died. I oh, my God, I lost my money and my experience. So, yeah, you can imagine all the raging going on. But, again, this would be a really good game changer. I mean, just look at the zombie. Again, it looks like a, like a string bean. But, 
I feel like this what is missing from Death Frontier 3D. Something to really make us want to stay and be like, damn, I want to explore the whole world. And seeing that the world of Death Frontier 3D is 100 times bigger than Death Frontier 2, there's no doubt in my mind that this will be honestly a game breaker for Death Frontier 3D. But it's only wishful thinking, and honestly, I don't think it'll ever come to fruition. I have a friend of mine called Francisco. You guys know him. He's been in many of my videos saying that the biggest obstacles were just to be recoded this whole game, change the way the game is played, and obviously improve the graphics because the way they are now, people really wouldn't be that into it. But yeah, guys, that's enough for this video. I just wanted to make a quick topic. I always like making quick topic videos uh, because, you know, sometimes they're fun and I like to conversate with the community. I know there's a forum on Death Frontier 3D, but nobody really uses those that much. I always like talking to my to my community itself, seeing that you guys are huge fans of this game. And I like getting your, your two cents here and there, and I love conversating with you guys overall. But yeah, guys, this is Armando signing off. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. I'll be putting a forest video out there. I like kind of doing non-related related Death Frontier videos here and there just for a change of pace for the channel. I'm still trying to, you know, grow my channel to the point that, you know, I can just have an awesome community in the future. But yeah, this is Armando signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. And Clayton, great job as always. Bye.